Greetings, and welcome back to the MCOC Encyclopedia. The Discord requested maxed out 7 star rank 3 SIG 200 Scarlet Witch, so let's have a look at her. No boosts, no recoils, pure Scarlet Witch, and synergies. Let's see what she has to offer. As always, we'll be starting off in Realm of Legends before moving into some Act content and a few other places, but be warned, Scarlet Witch is ridiculous. That was a nearly 200k special one within the first 8 seconds of the fight, and a 250k special 2 ending that fight in 14 seconds. That is about as fast as it's as possible to do that fight without using some weird bishop cheese. She's just ridiculous. Here we are up against Captain Marvel movie, and 20k medium, we're going to steal some power, my phone's going to lag out like all hell, and then we're just going to drop a special 2 for 540k. Just absurd, 17 seconds Realm of Legends. Now we've got Juggernaut, and here I do some very cheeky things because Scarlet Witch has a 90% nullify chant whenever she crits, so we're going to gamble that, and we actually nullify it as unstoppable. And I wasn't really expecting to, but now we're going for, here we go, I'll go for another special two. 310k, we've got a regen that's ticking for 1100 per tick, so 2200 per second. And there we go, it's just 311k. I did all of Realm of Legends in eight and a half minutes, which would have placed me about 11th on the world record leaderboard. Unfortunately, this is on the content creator beta, and not real. Bearing in mind that we are running synergies in this video, but we are not running a single boost, and we are not running recoils as well. So, now we're in 7.4.1, and I did show the synergy team that I'll be running in act content, but the most important synergy for Scarlet Witch is that Quicksilver one. Whenever her signature ability procs, and she gains buffs, she gains pro. Well, she has a 50% chance to gain a prowess buff, and these stack up to three times, letting her do things like that. These are big prowess buffs, and in this path, and ignore the big burst of damage, that's just the note, this is 7.4.1, so the paradox buffs, which are the sort of triangly ones on the left, those passives, are giving us a bit of buff potency, quite a bit of buff potency actually, but that just lets us do things like this. That was one and a half million. I don't think the buff potency really gave us much there. Gave us lots of damage. Was it masses of overkill? Uh, yes, it was. Still in 7.4.1, we're up against this Black Panther Civil War. That was a 40k medium attack. And I might hear you say, well, hang on, you're getting very lucky on your special two crits. And you're right. I am getting a lot of special two crits. But she has a massive crit chance increase on her special two, meaning that actually critting on a special two, it usually happens. Now, her signature ability has a chance to proc every time she crits. And this Warlock, this is Eternity of Pain Warlock, 800,000 health. Uh, you can't, it's power shield and crit me with your best shot, but also critical interruptions, which means every time we crit him, well, sorry, whenever we intercept him, we gain guaranteed crits, letting us do that. The world record for that fight, I think, was about 37 seconds. That was 18 and the world record was a fully maxed out, boosted Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is unboosted Scarlet Witch. We're now in 8.3.2, and that special one, by the way, there wasn't buffed in any way, shape, or form. That's just Scarlet Witch's damage. But we need to throw a special one on this path to knock them down with a the special, because then we want to do that for 2.6 million. The amount of overkill, that was probably enough to just take up the entire path in one special too. Like... That would have taken Labyrinth Red Hulk, assuming no damage caps. That would have very nearly taken Abyss Small Fights, no damage caps. Again, 142k special one there, that is just Scarlet Witch. No damage boost on that one. That one had a damage boost for 2.1 million. Anyway, back to our synergy team. Quicksilver is the big one. If you can only bring one, 100% bring Quicksilver. The other one that I find very interesting, when in 8.1.5 by the way, um, is the Quake and Hawkeye synergy. Bye-bye, 2.1 million K special one. That synergy provides extra ability accuracy, which means we have more chance for our signature ability to proc. This is 7.4.6, the smorgasbord path. And I thought, well, I apply a lot of debuffs. Let's see what Scarlet Witch can do. But my RNG in this fight has been horrible. I've applied three debuffs and they've all been on parry. And at this point, I'm getting worried. If that timer goes all the way around and I haven't applied 10 debuffs, he'll, he will heal. But if you do apply 10 debuffs, actually, he will degenerate. But it doesn't matter when you can do that. Just end the fight before any problems happen. The same path, we've got Odin, which is fight number three. And here, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine hits, no crits. Ten, ele- on eleventh we get our first crit, but all it takes is a couple of good crits. Scarlet Witch is the absolute OG queen of RNG. And again, watch, same fight. We go ten hits and nothing happens. But then eleventh we pl- proc Power Steel and, and, oh, he's gone. It's all about getting those right ones in. We did actually take him up against the 7.4.6 Superior Kang, and she did actually manage to solo him, but I'm not going to make you sit through that whole fight. Totally doable. Would I recommend it? Absolutely not. So there we have a quick insight into the insanity that is Rank 3 Scarlet Witch. She does have a lot of other synergies you can play around with. There's the Spidey 99 one that's quite fun, and when not in story content, you can just bring more Quakes, because the synergy with Hawkeye isn't unique. So you can run Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Hawkeye, and two Quakes for massive boosts to your ability accuracy. Coming soon, more Act 7, and we will be continuing the series of showcasing 7-star rank 1 champions. Yes, it is very fun like this to just take champions to their absolute maximum, but it's much more useful, in my opinion, to know what happens if you've just pulled a champion. What can you get from them unawakened at rank 1? I want to do one on Sorcerer Supreme, Blade, Falcon, Spider-Ham, and many, many more. A lot of champions that you really shouldn't sleep on that maybe you won't consider a top pull. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below, and please consider joining the Discord server. A great place to get specific advice, make suggestions for future video topics, and while I'm awake, I do my best to be there as much as possible. Thank you, and I will see you next time.